Well, I thought even when we played at uh, at Laramie, um, you know, we had good focus going into into that ball game. We've been playing really well and really well from a defensive standpoint. I think that's the thing that really has has, has spearheaded our, our turnaround in terms of our season to that point in terms of what we've been able to do. But uh, you know, for whatever reason, on that given night, we didn't have we didn't have the intensity and the energy we, that we needed to have and that we've been having in previous games on the defensive end. And uh, you know, we got back and. We, we got back to some basics in terms of standing from the ball and ball screen defense and all the kind of things you need to be successful uh, in every contest in this league. And uh, I thought our guys did a great job of, of uh, working hard in practice over the next couple of days that really prepared them to go up and, and, and really try to do a really good job guarding a, a really good offensive team uh, in, uh, in Utah State. Coach, uh, not too many teams go into the spectrum and get a win, especially as a team as young as yours. Was, uh, how were you able to get your guys to focus in that environment? Well, I thought again that that uh, that they won that game a couple of days prior to even going up here. I thought it all, you know, set set the tone in terms of uh, our defensive work that we had prior to going up there. I thought those guys did a great job of being ready to play, and uh, we knew going into that game, defense was going to be a big part of the ball game. We had to really put it put it on that end of the floor. We we do enough on offense to be able to, to win the game, but it was going to be us getting stops, getting blockouts, and uh, finishing possessions. Did you guys pay attention to the tape of uh, your earlier matchup against Boise State to prepare for tomorrow night's game? Oh, you always go back and watch the, the, the previous game that you had with them, and you always get a chance to see what they've done in terms of their most recent games as well. But uh, Boise State, extremely well-coached team, uh, really good offensive team, one of the better offensive teams in the country. You know, let alone our league, but uh, uh, you know they put a lot of put a lot of pressure on the basket, and uh, they score in a variety of ways. Got one of the best offensive rebounders in the country in Watkins, and uh, uh, they coach they, they pose a lot of problems for us. Yeah, do you approach the rebounding any differently when there's one dominant rebounder compared to the rest of the team? No, and that's going to be by committee. I mean, not one guy in our league can just block him out. He's one of the best, you know, offensive rebounders in the country, and uh, that's going to be by committee. And uh, it's going to take several guys doing their job in terms of trying to trying to uh, get back and put a body on him because he doesn't settle for blockouts. He's one of those guys that's a third, fourth effort play guy. And uh, Boise State, a lot of guys with tournament experience from last season. Uh, is that experience factor narrowed a bit since the last time you played them? Oh, they're a good team. They're a veteran team. They're guys that played in postseason play. Um, they, uh, I think they're playing really well right now with the last couple ball games. And uh, um, they're going to be a handful for us to deal with. It's, it's a great challenge for us here at home playing a veteran team that, uh, that's coming in with all the experience that they have. And uh, we're going to we're gonna have to have to have ours at a very high level in terms of intensity and energy tomorrow. Paul Watson at 20 points at Utah State. Uh, how are you liking how he's developing late in the season? Paul's, you know, Paul's gotten better each and every night out. Each and every day, Paul gets better. And Paul is a guy that's got a chance to play a lot uh, as a post. He's going to be a perimeter player, but he's getting a chance now toward the latter part of the season to also play on the perimeter a little bit more defensively, offensively. And uh, he's been a guy that's shown all year that he can make shots. And uh, he's just going to continue to get better and better. He's got a, he's got a very high ceiling. You mentioned Watkins, obviously, is one of like three pretty difficult matchups for you guys. Your bigs better prepared physically or mentally to take on this kind of a challenge with him? Well, you know what? I, I, I like to think so. I mean, he's just, again, he's, he's no different than guys we played all year, you know. Uh, uh, I like him to a lot of the guys that are on the, on the Florida team. Well, they're third, fourth effort guys. He just doesn't have, settle for being blocked out one time, two times. you got to continue to to block him out the entire possession until we gain possession of the basketball. But uh, he's an extremely tough matchup. I mean, they, they've got tough matchups all the way down the lineup. You know, Marks, hard matchup. You know what Drimmick does. He's one of the best scorers uh, in our league. Uh, so, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a very, very talented ball club. With Marks, I mean, obviously you can get to the rim. It's something you guys, Wyoming obviously had trouble staying in front of the ball. We're just going to play our principles. I mean, we have to do a great job, obviously, with uh, we're standing the cap on him and uh, trying not to get spread out and, and letting those guys have easy, easy uh, angles to the basket. Um, 
Transition defense is big. I think Mark hurts you a lot in transition, so transition defense is going to be going to be really big for us in terms of getting back and getting our defense set. 